Hi guys and girls. Um, so carrying on from the other day in my life, really my boring, awful, frightening life. Um, basically, uh, yeah, I just wanted to check in to kind of see if I can give a better overview of what's going on. I'm sorry that all the videos are quite sporadic and my life is at the moment, but it's it's also very good like that and beautiful and honest, of course. Um, so basically yeah that's how they'll probably carry on for the time being <laughs> unless you have any better suggestions um and uh yeah as i find my way to a youtube source how the avenues will come and work anyway so i met this girl called zoe and you, you heard the story in intro too so it turns out she's got multiple personality disorder, or what I can ascertain is that to be the case, plus, you know, lots of other sort of cycles of mental illness thrown in there. Um, and she's essentially at the bottom 1% of, of, of all um, troubles, let's say. I mean, she's probably been created like this from a very young age. Some of the stories she's told me are, are, are particularly harrowing, uh, and the way she is is absolutely harrowing. Um, so she's become a product of what her childhood was, as we all do, um, to some degree. Obviously, the idea of being an adult is that you, you've had rites to passage and you've grown up through puberty. And that when you've been, whether you have or not, uh, is a different thing, and most likely you haven't. Um, and then you come to adulthood, and you're like, oh, hello, here I am in this great place of adulthood, which essentially you're just a confused child. You haven't got a bloody clue what you're doing. And you're hoping for everything to be A-OK, -okay, mate. But uh, it doesn't really work like that. So you have to then go and grow up, basically. And realise that you're probably bitter and resentful about a whole load of stuff. Um, and uh, you need to, you know, uh, express that um, in two forms. By speaking your truth and being your truth. Uh, liberating yourself um, in, 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 in any uh, productive way that you can meditation and uh, you know all sorts of all sorts of wonderful wonderful ways being mindful basically anyway um, so she is very unwell she's also what is commonly banded about these days as being a twin flame of mine madness I mean if I would have do I believe that would I believe that no, would I be open to it? Yes, but probably sceptical. But cheers. I believe it now. So, I've been going through a lot of spirituality for a long time. Plato first coined the twin flame, apparently so, I believe. Um, and that was a very, very long time ago. I'm not sure how long, probably four. Two to four thousand years ago, you can probably put me right out there if you've got the dates. Um, so yeah, it, I've been going through a long transition of things that started all my life, probably when I was a child. I was very spiritual and used to have like apparitions of white light and stuff, and didn't know what it was, just it felt great, you know, kind of like ecstasy, I suppose. Um, but it was a very sensitive child and was a um. I suppose, yeah, children, they're more sensitive anyway. They, they know more things than we do. And obviously, we're not tuned into it. We're tuned out of it, probably. But, yeah, as I grew, I've um, been going through a lot of things since... I'm 40 years old now. Since I was about 36, I've probably been going through what one would say is dark night of the soul, potentially. Um, just a real spiritual um, journey. Letting go and being reintroduced and re-ingratiated to oneself, so to speak. <laughs> um, so, Zoe, Twin Flame, these are all things that we can talk about, uh, understand, as I'll probably make videos. Yeah, being stalked, uh, she obviously works for a criminal organisation of some form. Apparently she's the best as well at doing what she does is frightening it's been told to me by a couple of people and the really frightening 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 thing of all is despite the fact that she loves me um she wants to kill me and destroy me 
And that's her modus operandi, because through this multiple personality disorder, although there's several different personalities, the child that doesn't say much, and the, she has one um, called the Queen. Uh, she thinks she's Anne Boleyn. Um, she's pretty narcissistic, but hey. Um, and uh, there, there's the, another silent one that doesn't say anything, which is essentially psychopath sociopath killer like um, so there's an overarching sociopathy to the whole thing it's all one big defense mechanism that's been split um throughout her so she flips from one to the next to the next to the next they don't all know each other they all suffer independent uh, illnesses um and uh she forgets forgets things like complete blackouts and oh it's just 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 bad so um i forgot what i was saying now to be frank with you um yeah she wants to hurt me she wants to she, she wants to kill me so there's this sort of overarching malevolence there and uh, it's with all her cohorts and everything like that so it's it, you know it, she can't believe that any man is 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 you know normal dignified kind uh, not out to absolutely annihilate and you know abuse and hurt her or anyone else for that matter so frightening times and uh how do you the a's well you don't really you have to kind of set back that boundary and run, you know run away but then in the same hand you want to enlighten to show that you know she's being created in that way and by very evil people that are in very negative toxic cycles that have been going back through probably ancestry and it's all about the dark and the light energies and um demons again i had a friend once that used to tell me about demons um, at three o'clock in the morning and smoking dope and etc and they sort of thing i used to shut him up as quick as possible because it used to frighten me basically and i thought it was barking mad I, you know i've never come across that sort of nonsense before and if i had i didn't know it and wouldn't recognize it and wouldn't understand it and couldn't understand it so um but it's true um, they do, uh, they tried to get into me, uh, it's the first time I noticed it, and it was like a sexual advance, um, and of course, I think you have to invite these things, it's strange enough, um, I mean, I spoke to this guy, who knows about, more than me about this, and, and he said, yeah, you have to kind of be open to it, so it's, it's like, a, almost you call it in, in some sense, or through erosion of the individual, through, through erosion of yourself, um, your psyche, your mind, your body, and your soul, your spirituality. Eventually, you know, you succumb, and you you sort of say, you know, you, you it's not that you're asking for it, but it's that you're you've succumbed, and through that erosion, that process, the the the, the, the doorway can open, or the gateway can open. So yeah, try to get into me, and uh, I mean, this is just uh, crazy stuff. But people, for the people who know, they know. And it's, 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 this is what this world's all about, really. The war it takes place in the spiritual realm and not in the physical realm. So, um, and it is a, essentially a war from what I've been told, like spiritual warfare. Um, which again, is frightening for the average person, you know. They're like, oh, mate, yeah, oh, I'll go down the supermarket, see Eileen, whatever, be, 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 be. Like, they don't want they don't even want to recognize the troubles in this life let alone the troubles in the in the ethereal life that the life that is is the spiritual world but that's where the issues are and that's what comes through and that's what comes through ancestrally and that's what comes through our systems and that's what we are so yeah lots to lots to take in there guys and girls um and lots for me to try and explain and I hope that it's somewhat coherent even though it's probably a bit rambly and doody doody but uh yeah um it's been really really difficult times and not to mention the fact that these criminal organizations are now obsessed by me um and I'm their latest penchant of goodness or badness or whatever and they seem to be thinking that I'm, I don't even know what they think but 
they're interested in me in the, in essence and uh, they want to make my life difficult hey ho that's the bad side of human nature pathology and we can talk about that another time and how that's created that's all about the paradox and critical thinking and if you can't critical think you're basically a walking disease and or fantasy the bipolar bifurcated society that we live in so yeah i'll leave it at that for now and uh, wish you all love and peace um, and you get to know a little bit more about my crazy nonsense uh, hopefully there's some people out there that you know you'll find this one day and you know if you can add any help and comments and stuff and just to give me you know some help basically then that would be really awesome lots of love cheers